He did it. gonna be cool top two not to what it do so today i'm about to bring you um this video is probably gonna, yeah. it's gonna show me doing the chloe ting's two weeks ab burnout workout whatever it's called and i just want to take you guys along my journey of when um some days that i do the workout what i eat during this whole ooh, girl what i eat during this whole thing and everything like that i'm gonna insert before pictures of myself that i take today today is tuesday oh wednesday january 3rd 2020 so i'm about to start and i should be finished by the wednesday I said January, June, but Wednesday, June 17th. Today's June 3rd. I should be done by June 17th. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, alrighty, y'all. See you when I'm slim. Bye. You th hold on. What's that? Even though we don't do TikTok right now, but you think you think I'm skinny? <laughs> well, yeah, that's what we're about to do. But bye, y'all. Okay, so here are some before pictures of me, y'all. As y'all can see, the girl was fat and bloaty. It was not cute. <laughs> I was looking dying. <laughs> So I just got done and what is like I really just want to like fight Chloe Ting right now because Lord it just showed me how out of shape I was because you know me I would have to train up before Corona happened and I was consistent I was doing my thing like I was really doing the stuff but today as y'all can see from the videos a girl was struggling like in the first set was good but then like we started doing a lot like when it came to the abs like that killed me but yeah first day so good i mean besides me dying like eight times a million times during this whole day it was pretty good i'm just really happy because i feel like the way i'm about to meal prep and really eat and all this stuff is really gonna help me but yeah <laughs> Um, this one felt a little more better. Um, I was still struggling, especially because we have four workouts today. Kill myself. But besides that, like, I'm feeling good and feeling better. Yesterday, I only ate one thing because I woke up so late and I only had breakfast. And then had some noodles, <laughs> which is not part of my plan, but yeah. But so yep, yeah, I'm about to just go make my breakfast before I get my day started and everything like that. So yes, day three, we have 11 more days, period. <laughs> He did it. And these are my afters, and the girls just snatched coming for y'all mans, and that's on period. Oh my god. Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode. We're keeping up with who top two, not two, what it do. So today I am going to um, be explaining to you all how um, my whole Chloe Ting's two week process went and Lord let me tell y'all it was a lot. I literally almost wanted to quit every day but I was like you know what I gotta work for myself get better for myself and really put in this work. 
So this section, I'm just going to be talking about a whole bunch of tips and tricks and my advice that uh, I want to share with y'all to, you know, be able to maximize your potential of, you know, losing weight, snatching that waist and all that extra good stuff. So first things first, I'm going to be looking at my phone. I'm going to tell y'all some tips and tricks. I just want to tell y'all some tips and tricks that I use to, you know, really be able to maximize your potential at this whole two week thing. First things first, do not overwork yourself. Take breaks. If you cannot do an exercise for the full 30 seconds, please don't try extra hard like to do it, especially on the first couple of days, especially if you're new to this, don't do that. You're just not, it's not helping nobody. You're in pain and it's just not it, okay? Make sure to take breaks, catch your um, breath and all that, which is very key. Make sure because you don't want to overwork yourself, strain yourself, sprain your muscles, especially if you are you have not worked out in a long time. So that's the first thing I would say. The second thing is make sure your diet is key because you can work out every day. You can do, you know, I'm not even talking about the clothing thing, but you can work out every day, exercise, and then, but if your diet is not good or unhealthy or has a lot of, you know, you know, um, things that are not good for you, honey, le listen here, it's pointless. I'm telling y'all that if this does not work, um, you got to make sure, I don't know what I'm saying, you have to make sure that your diet is key, that you meal prep, this is what I do, meal prep has literally is the best thing ever, even though sometimes I hate eating the same meals each and every day. But make sure that you know you just you know you change up your diet. I'm not talking about you completely change the whole thing, but you know you limit what you eat and a whole bunch of other stuff because you know that's how you're able to maximize you know being able to achieve your goals, especially when it comes to exercise. And with that, you want to make sure you incorporate a lot of fruits and veggies into your meals, water, and all that thing because your diet is key in weight loss. And also on weight gain as well. But um, the third thing I would say, limit the times you eat. You don't want to be eating at 11 p.m. a full course meal. Because, honey, that, all that is going to do is stick to your body. You don't want that. You don't want to be eating a freaking um burgers with some fries at 11 p.m. Because that would just stick to your body and... We don't want that. So limit the times to eat. I would say a good time to stop eating is around 8 o'clock. I start eating at 8 and so. But if I did get really hungry, I would kind of um try to eat something healthy. Like some fruits, some veggies, some skinny popcorn, um, some yogurt and granola. Just something that was a little more healthier and didn't have, you know, too much um, carbs. Next, I would say take, um, limit not limit control your portion sizes portion size is very critical you don't want to be overeating too much carbs and under eating fruits and veggies you want to make sure that your fruits and veggies are the you know more i don't want to say your intake of fruit. yeah my car keeps getting full but uh make sure you increase your fruits and veggies and um stuff of that nature you want to make sure that you know like i said you have more fruits and veggies than red meats or carbs and stuff like that. Just limit and balance your, you know, your plate. Um, what else do I have for you guys? Um, make sure you take your time and be patient. Um, weight loss or weight gain, this whole journey of just weight is extremely hard because it also depends not only on like your exercise and what you eat, but also your metabolism and how fast um your body's able to break down food so if you have a slower metabolism it takes longer for you to you know your body to break down food and so so seeing results are going to be you know a little what's it called it it's going to take longer but if you have a fast metabolism seeing results are quicker to see because just your body can break down food and like you know and stuff like that so that's why i say take your time be patient you know Know yourself. You don't want to be over here rushing. Make sure you're doing it for the right reason. That's also why too. Make sure you want to do it because you want to do it because you want to do it. And the last, this is a tip that I did or a trick. Take this every single night or morning. It is disgusting. I'm telling you that now, but it will help. Take a tablespoon or a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. The Bragg's or Bragg's is the best for anything. Pure apple cider vinegar will help. 100% uh, lemon juice and a, 
a tablespoon or teaspoon of water. Each one, I don't remember what it is, but I think it's like, it wants, you want to be like a shot. Take that morning and night and it helps with um, being able to shred some weight. It helps with bloating and all that stuff. So that's what I'm saying. Use that. It works. I use that morning and night. And Lord, I'm telling you, it is the Holy Grail. I'm sharing with y'all my Holy Grail. Y'all better use it. Y'all better do it. Okay. But basically, um, that was a couple of tips. I'm just going to go over. Do not overwork yourself. One. Number two, diet is key. Healthy foods, a lot of water. Number three, um, limit the times you eat. Number four, portion control. Number five, take your time and be patient. And number six, use the apple cider vinegar and lemon water trick to help reduce bloating and um, also help with your weight loss. So that is um, a couple things that I have and I wanted to share with y'all. And I really hope, you know, that this works for y'all because I wanted to, wearing corona, quarantine, whatever, this is the like the best time to you know really work on ourselves and such like that. I'm going to continue working um doing Chloe Ting's probably do her 28 day um flat tummy challenge. So if you guys want to see that, just let me know. I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna show y'all a little video, whatever. But yes, cause you know I'm trying to get right. I'm trying to get right before I get left. <laughs> But, um, yeah, make sure you guys use that. I am so happy with how I look, how I feel, and so if I'm still working on myself. So, I know it's a, a work in progress, but, yep. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys use these tips and tricks to help yourself and stuff like that. If you use the apple cider vinegar trick, let me know how that goes and everything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share, and turn on y'all post notifications. Party fire!